Early this year in April, FFA released the Indigenous Football Development Strategy, also known as Football Dreaming. And this provides a blueprint on the future direction of FFA's approach to, I guess, making Indigenous communities having more accessibility to playing football. Uh, and part of that is what we have in place now, the, the National Indigenous Football Festival, which is uh, overarching what you see behind me now with the State Festival here held in, uh, in Victoria. Today is a state carnival, the second of its kind, the first official tournament for the Victorian Indigenous community. Um, not only celebrating the game for everyone from all over the state to come and play, but bringing together the best players as well. Um, the winning teams, obviously, of the 13s, uh, boys and girls, travel over to the national titles in Alice Springs, and that, that's just a fantastic opportunity for those guys to be uh, identified as talented players, and then, who knows, we might see some A-League, W-League, and future soccerism Matilda's just coming out of this backyard here. Doesn't matter what level you are, um, if you've got um, you've got a team, a local team, then um, and, and you're passionate about the game, and you get down and have a kick, and uh, that's the whole point of it. You know, football's a game that takes in um, all t different cultures and, and um, um, different people as well. So um, you know, my role is more just to make sure that you know these guys know that uh, anything is possible, and that um, you know just to give it a go and have some fun with it, and uh, you never know what could come out of it. Well, there's plenty of kids from all over the state that get to come around and see each other. You know, I've seen plenty of kids today meeting up with their old cousins and stuff that they haven't seen for a few years. And, you know, it's just meeting new Indigenous people that, you know, enjoying sport. So it's good. It's all well and good to, to have kids playing the game, um, but it's about what the sport can provide them from a social element. So that the health outcomes they get out of participating in the game. <laughs> There are a number of challenges, and particularly from the from the Koori community perspective, that would be access, about parental involvement, um, access to uniforms, registration. So FFV getting out there, promoting the game, role models, all those things make such a big difference. And days like today, as you can see. Just wondering if you guys could tell us why you love football. Uh, get exercised. You're entertained. So you don't, so you're not lazy and you just get out outdoors. Not playing video games all the time. Oh, so you're enjoying it then? Yeah. yeah. Great day, great opportunity um, for the guys to come together. Yeah, I think it's um, marvellous. Yeah. Awesome, anything else to add? No, we'll see you again next year. Excellent. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks. <laughs>